Hey everybody, Joe here with Speedway Motors Tech Talk, and we are here today with Lake Speed Jr. from Total Seal Piston Rings, and we are gonna talk about piston rings for boost. Yeah. Now, everybody knows that if you're gonna put boost to your engine, you need to open up the ring gap. But yeah, that's like the 101. Right, but there's a lot more to it than that, right? Oh, there is, because obviously when you have more boost, you're gonna be making more heat, so you need to have more end gap to allow for thermal expansion. Right. So that's your 101 class. But mm -hmm. We're gonna go to 201, we're gonna go a little more advanced. As you add more boost, you're making more power. The ring material you use needs to change. So, perfect example right here. You can see this ring, that molly face coating, which is typical of a lot of rings, is flaked out. That's because that higher level of boost, that more powerful, combustion event mm -hmm. has actually rattled and shaken the molly out of the ring. Well, once the molly flakes out of the ring, well, the rest of the ring comes apart pretty quickly too. And it's game over for the engine. Yeah, it's not good, right? So obviously, one on one step is let's open the end gap. Number two, you need to upgrade your material, go away from the molly type ring and move to a PVD coated steel ring. So you may be wondering, why is there a gold drill bit and a regular drill bit here? Because when you go to a steel ring, there's two options. You have a very gas nitrided steel ring. So there's no coating on it, it's just hardened. It doesn't even flake off that way, which is nice. The downside is this, that hardened ring is kind of like that regular old drill bit. And anyone that's done any kind of drill bit work with these two, right? A mm -hmm. titanium nitrided coated drill bit, right? Because this Thai nitride is what makes it yellow. This is why it lives longer, because that coating provides lubricity, extra hardness and protection. So a PVD coated steel ring will live longer than a gas nitride ring. So that's one of our little tricks is that all the Total Seal AP steel rings, they're all coated rings. So you have that advantage. While you're at it, you might as well go ahead and do a gas ported ring, because if your pistons are the factory pistons still, they don't have gas ports. And the best way to get increased ring seal is by having gas ports in your ring. It allows that gas pressure to get behind the ring and seal out, because you're putting more pressure in via the boost. You need to help that ring push out and seal better. The blow-by will go down when you add gas ports. So you're getting more bang for your buck, essentially. Mm -hmm. So even with, you know, everybody wants to put a turbo on an LS engine, right. that's the thing. Even if you're reusing the stock LS piston, you will see a benefit from upgrading the rings to something like a gas ported ring. Absolutely, going to a gas ported ring on a factory piston is a performance benefit, a durability benefit. Then when you really start to lean on it, the next thing you're gonna to need to adjust is your cylinder bore surface finish. Because okay. what comes along with more boost, right? there's more air going in the engine, you gotta put more fuel in the engine. And these steel rings that can handle all that, they don't have porosity like that old Molly ring did. So something's gotta hold the oil to both lubricate and to seal the piston ring against the cylinder wall so that's where going away from this factory finish, which is typically a little bit smoother, and you're gonna to wanna to go to something that's more of like a plateau style finish that has that deeper valley to hold more oil. Because the more fuel you put through the engine, the deeper the valley needs to be to hold more oil so you can get better performance and longevity. So what is this actually that we're looking at here? So if you can imagine taking a one millimeter by one millimeter square sample of a cylinder bore and then blowing it up, this is what a plateau hone looks like inside your cylinder bore. That rover in front of you is a traditional 400 grit. That kind of finish, as you can tell, has a lot of peaks, not a lot of valleys. This one, not a lot of peaks, a whole lot of valley. Your piston ring's gonna like this one a whole lot more than it does that one. And for this one, you gotta go beyond the old driveway hone. Absolutely. This is machine shop, you know, say like a modern Rottler CNC home. This is a 170 grit diamond finish. 
followed by a 600 grit CBN to create this modern finish. This, with boost and a modern steel ring, produces incredible results. So for the old pull it apart and gaff the rings, you'll get by at moderate power levels, moderate boost. Right. But as you want to turn up the dial a little bit, you have to get, get a little more serious. Yeah, it's no different than mountain climbing. Anybody can go to the base camp at Mount Everest, right? But if you want to get to the summit, you're going to need different equipment and a Sherpa, otherwise you're probably going to die on the way to the top. Okay, so there you have it. Everything you need to know about piston rings for boost. Thank you, Wake. Thanks everybody for watching.